Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Nice to see you again. We're going to do a bit of a mishmash catch up style video today. Catch up on a few things that have been going on, namely where I left you at the last proper video that we've done here. Um, I had a leak. We were filling up this tank. This is my custom discus display tank. We were filling this up and had to stop because we got a small leak which was dripping down and going all over the floor here. Some more investigation work has been undertaken and we've cleared out this side. Um, yeah, and it's a little more serious than we thought it was. The construction of this tank is basically, it's double skinned at the bottom. So there's a layer of plywood and then two layers of glass uh, and split in the middle. So it's two smaller sections on each side. So both, both the skins on this side have actually smashed. I haven't been able to fully investigate, but there's nothing under there. The, the, the pattern, or the smash pattern, would suggest that there was a little bit of grit or a little bit of dirt that somehow got its way in between the glass and the plywood. But I've not been able to find anything, so I don't know if it was maybe just something in the move, because I've only just moved into this house. If you're new to the channel, remember to hit that subscribe button. But I've only just moved in here. It could have been damaged, it could have been a hairline fracture, it could have been something small slipped in. Don't know what's going on, but the upshot of it is knackered, basically. So, what we're going to do about this, normally it would be RIP this tank, but what I'm going to do is take it outside, see if I can get some glass made up to replace these two bottom panels. I'll see if I can find some other way of doing it. I mean, there are options, you could just take another panel of glass, put it over the top and silicon it in place. And I may well do that, but I'm going to get rid of this tank altogether, put it in the fish room, and this is going to become a fish room tank. And I'm going to replace this tank with a bigger and better tank. So I'm going to keep the stand because it's a proper steel sand, um, get a tank with the same footprint, but get something a little bit taller. Because this is an open top tank, but it's, even though it's got this pelmet on, and I can actually see into this. So I want to get one that's a little bit higher that kind of preserves the illusion of it hide all the gubbins, you don't see the lights, all that kind of stuff. Um, and obviously you get a bigger fish tank. You never break a fish tank and replace it with one of the same size. You always upgrade, it's like an unwritten rule. So we're going to be doing that in this tank. Probably a few weeks away from doing that because I've got so much else going on here of things to sort out with the new house. But for now, this is just going to be an expensive ornament that's very ugly. But let's go and have a look in the fish room and we'll see what updates we've got down there. So the big news here is all oh, my fish are back. We've got all the fish back from the other fish room. Um, but job number one here is replace this aging garage door. Um, it's taking up too much room. I'll show you what I mean here, but it's taking too much room. It's kind of broken. It doesn't really fit my plans for making this the fish room. So I'll show you what I mean. So it's kind of hard to show you here with all the various different angles, but this is the motor that controls the garage door, which is connected to a big steel pipe, which goes all the way down here and actually attaches to the door here and then the door folds up and over. But I want to build a room inside this garage because I've still got kids and junk that everyone keeps in their garage. That has to go somewhere. So my fish room is actually going to go kind of down this way and then along here. So these steel stands, these big dug stands that I've got, absolutely fantastic. So I'm gonna have two of these six foot stands going this way, so there'll be another one going out to, I don't know, maybe here or something like that. And then I'm gonna build a wall here, build another wall back there, and then put the door on that side. So I've got all the building supplies here. So that's the insulation for in between the walls, all the lumber, timber down there. And that's some plaster, some plasterboard. So this is going to be very much a DIY job. Um, so tune in for impending disasters as I try and build a room <laughs> in this fish room. Uh, but my God, is it expensive. I remember when I bought timber and chip rock and all that kind of stuff last time. It's probably twice, if not three times the price of a couple of years ago. But anyway, enough Brexit moaning. But the big news is that I've got all my fish back at last. Obviously I sold a load of fish to make the move easier, but I rented another another flat, moved all my fish over there. I was driving over and back again every day, which was taking an hour a day. Thank God they're all back again. So we're starting slowly and starting small again. I've just in here got 
all my plecos, all my endlers, all my guppies. Humphrey, the very happy um, flower horn, uh, my discus, my angels, and all the other bits and bobs that are around here. So I'm keeping these fish here for the time being um, because I'm not going to do anything with this wall behind it. Behind this wall is like a void, it's not an outside wall. Behind that wall here is also another void, it's not an outside wall, so I'm not that bothered about insulating these straight away. Um, the only outside wall is actually the garage door that way, so that's what I'm insulating against. I think it'll keep the heat in quite well, but if I need to, there are crawl spaces I can get around and I can put some insulation on the other side of that, or I can do something on this side of it. But this will be the fish room, where I can swing a cat. My cat won't enjoy that, but I could do it. So there are a few jobs that I need to consider in here. Um, done the electrics, so we've got sockets mounted up high on the walls all the way around. We'll get more added as I add an extra wall. I don't have plumbing sorted out. I have got water in here. I have my... Oh, I forgot where it was. I have my fill line connected to my HMA filter over on the other side of the room, but we're going to run that up high so as I've got drip feeds into every tank. In the old fish room we had overflows coming out of each tank um, but I don't actually have access to a drain here yet so I have thought up an alternate solution I'm not sure how long this will be but knowing me, months and months and months but basically I've got myself a slimline water butt which fits into that space that I've left at the end of that um, racking system and I've bought myself a sump pump so this is a, a Titan sump pump that's going to go in here. I'll run all my overflows into this um, water butt and then pump it up because up here, that pipe there is the waste pipe for the house and there is a, a, like a blanked off junction behind those plastic, those cardboard boxes. So I can run a line into that and pump it all out that way. So that would take care of the bare essentials. I can get water in, I can get water out and I've got electricity. Um, once I get the walls built, I can sort out the heating because um, each tank at the moment is just individually heated but the heaters are coming on way more than they need to because this is quite a cold room but once I get the building works done, um, that can take care of that. I can't start the building works until I get rid of the garage door. I have ordered a new garage door but it's got a five week lead time so I just need to put that up with this for about another month and then we should be good to go and I'll, what I'll have is Racks down that side, racks down that side, a doorway, basically where the camera is right now, and then a space here. So I've got this old tank from the fish room, uh, or my office fish room in the old house, but it looks kind of silly here, so I'm not sure what I'll do with this. I was thinking of maybe making this like a workshop area, because uh, there's a good eight feet space here. I was thinking of having like maybe a table or a workstation set up here where I can do projects and it makes it a bit easier to film them and things like that so if I need to reseal a tank I can build a little table here and reseal a tank if I want to do some aquascaping I can set up a fish tank here and set it up get some lights uh, and make it a little bit easier and a little bit easier to work around because my old fish room I was always constantly um, in the way of things where I've just got a load of space here so that's kind of what I have going on in my head at the moment and we'll have fish tanks, fish tanks, project area. No doubt that will evolve over time. We'll have fish tanks, fish tanks, fish tanks, fish tanks, fish tanks. Uh, but we'll see how we get on. That's kind of what I'm thinking straight away. In terms of what I want the fish room to be, I talked about this a little bit on my live stream the other day. I kind of want to have dedicated themes for things. So. If I just go with what fish I want to buy and what fish I want to try, I'm going to run out of tanks immediately. So I think I'm going to have dedicated amounts of time, whether it's a year or two years of, right, now we're going to be breeding. Uh, the next year might be, right, now we're going to try and set our own guppy strains. Next year it's going to be, let's get some monster fish. Next year might be, let's do some African cichlids or things along those lines. I just sort of really don't want to do everything half arsed. I want to have a proper go at things. So if I'm going to breed discus, I'm going to breed discus and we're going to do everything that we need to do that. We're going to concentrate on conditioning and getting everything up, not having a mishmash of projects going on all over the place. Or maybe we have breeding on this side and show fish on that side or loads of options. Let me know in the comments, what would you do if you had 
the chance to set up a fish room from scratch, as I'm about to be doing, what would you do? I'm genuinely interested to find out what you think. So I don't want to spend too much time rushing out and buying a whole load of new fish because I'll need to move all these racks around when I'm doing the building works. So for the next month or so, I'm going to concentrate on the tanks that I've got at the moment. I mean, everything is very much set up with the bare minimum just to keep the fish alive because they've been moving around from place to place. This, this wall isn't going to move anywhere, so I'll probably spend a little bit more time with these fish, getting them set up just to keep them going um, with a bit of a nicer environment, so it's not just all bare bottom tanks. I think Humphrey might appreciate a bit of gravel in the bottom because he did like doing that when I had that for a while. I think we need some sand in the discus tank to keep that going. Um, yeah, just spend a little bit more time getting everything a little bit nicer um, because these are going to be permanent homes for most of these fish. Uh, obviously Humphrey, that's usually Humphrey's tank there, but the discus are all in there at the moment. Um, but you know, for a, a good month they're going to be in there, so we'll do something um, to keep everything a little bit happier. But yeah, it's all, it's all a bit in play, everything's moving around, there's too many moving pieces. Um, so I don't want to commit to too much straight away before we get the room built, because once the room's built I'll have a much better idea of what we can achieve. But I just wanted to give everyone a chance to catch up on what's been going on. I know I've not put out any videos for the last week or so. I was a bit disheartened by the whole breaking of the custom discus tank, if I'm completely honest, but I think I've got past it now. I've I spent a week just staring at it and seething every time I walked past it, because it's in the hallway. Every time I walked past it, just going, brruh, brruh, that's it, I've quit, I've had enough of everything. But put on my big boy pants, I'm over it now. We can move on, go on bigger and better. So hopefully we'll have a new tank in the, the next few weeks. I haven't actually ordered one yet, so I don't know how long it'll take. Uh, but I've made the decision at least. Anyway, thank you for joining me. Please let me know in the comments if you've got any ideas or anything you'd like to see. We've been talking about this on my live streams on a Friday night, so join us there. You can have a bit of a chat and catch up with the gang. Uh, let me know what you want to do. I have promised to sponsor a few tanks with our subscriber tanks. Um, people have been leaving super, chance to buy, super chats to buy me plants, so there's going to be a plant called Jennifer in there and another one called something else. So come and join us on a Friday night. We have a good laugh. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments what would you like to see in here or what would you do if this was yours. Um, but for now, we'll leave it there. Thank you very much for joining me. Uh, please consider clicking that like button, the subscribe button or even the join button. Um, it all really helps me out, especially with all these things to sort out. But thanks for coming this time at least and we'll see you next time. Bye!